what differentiates Service Channel's approach from all the other competitors in the market is the human element. We start not with technology and configuration, we start with relationships. We get to know the people who have purchased the software and why, and everything else builds upon that. Things that I really like and find important in a relationship are honesty and openness. I'm the type of person who likes to discuss anything that might be on someone's mind, make sure that there are no misunderstandings. I always like to assume positive intent. Um, and one of the things I love about working at Service Channel is everyone always has everyone else's back. Um, we know that if an emergency comes up or there's a situation we maybe aren't particularly skilled in, um, everyone is always ready to, to lend a hand to anyone else who might need it. The way that we ensure a smooth transition for clients when introducing Service Channel is getting to know them and their priorities. We will, of course, then fold in project plans, step-by-step -step instructions, um, tactical configuration, but we always start with getting to know the people who will be using the system and what they hope to achieve from it so that we all have the same North Star in mind as we progress. We help customers make the switch from their current platform over to Service Channel by keeping communication as the number one thing in the forefront of everyone's mind. So once we establish clear lines of communication, what people like for cadence and methods, we're then very easily able to take a look at step-by-step -step planning out what needs to be brought over, when, who the stakeholders need to be. Um, we've done this hundreds and hundreds of times across various industries and sizes of clients. And by breaking it into a step-by-step -step approach in terms of the design, the configuration, the testing, and getting alignment on launch, we make sure that everybody feels comfortable by the time we're ready to go live. The way that we approach getting all stakeholders involved during the implementation phase is to work with a key point of contact. So it's very important to have one person who's going to be the champion for implementing Service Channel and starting as the project manager on the client side. And we work with them to collaborate at different phases in the project, who the different stakeholders are and why they would want to be involved. And the focus there is always on the benefit of implementing the system. We don't want people to see it as an added thing they have to do when they're already busy day to day but focusing on which benefits they are going to receive from the software once it's implemented. The way that Service Channel helps clients adopt new processes over time is by creating a project plan and taking an iterative approach to the change. So we want to look at what fits into their bandwidth, what their priorities are, and come up with a plan to implement what makes the most sense right away, and then continue that process as they move on in their relationship with Service Channel. Having service providers already familiar with Service Channel benefits new clients during implementation because the building blocks are already in place. So the service providers can focus on fulfilling the requirements that are specific to that client without needing to spend time filling out a lot of the basic information needed to perform work in the platform. And especially if the client is new to a facility maintenance software in general, a lot of suggestions and best practices for flow actually come from the service providers.